Uh, most of the work in oncology so far in gene therapy has been in terms of the CAR T cell therapy uh, development. And as you probably are aware that right now, we have six indications for which CAR T cell therapy has been approved. Uh, these include uh, three indications of uh, large B-cell lymphoma uh, that is refractory or relapsed uh, within 12 months of first line of uh, chemoimmunotherapy uh, for the most part. Uh, and there are a little bit differences between the three therapies that have been approved. And then there are a couple which have actually been approved for uh, relapsed or refractory multiple myeloma uh, after a couple lines of therapy. Uh, and uh, there is a CAR T cell therapy that is actually approved for uh, uh, leukemias as well. Uh, and uh, that's uh, B cell ALL. Uh, there's an also an approval for refractory ref or relapsed mantle cell lymphoma. So the, the talk focused on what the past had been about CAR T cell therapies, uh, what is the current, which is, has been an improvement over the previous approvals, and then looking at some mechanisms of resistance, uh, and then defining what the next generation of CAR T cell therapy will look like, which we think will impact the field tremendously in the next five to 10 years.